Welcome back friends. In this video tutorial, we will be talking about the cellular effects of viral infections. Because viruses can infect cells, because we know that viruses are some extracellular bodies which can attack cells. They are acting like a, like an intracellular parasite, right? And they are only alive when they are inside a host cell. So virus means we are having two things. One is the virus itself, another is the host cell, right? So whenever we are talking about virus or cellular effects of viruses, we are talking about a virus. So let me write it here. We are talking about a virus, talking about a virus and and its host, its host, sorry its host okay so this is the actual goal now what kind of interaction that we can see between a virus and its host there are actually four different type of interaction that we can see in the cellular level here in this case we are interested about the cellular level so the expressions that we can see the first type of expression we can see is simply killing this is no nothing no uncommon killing is a very common part for viruses now what killing is suggesting us that if this is the host cell for example say this is the host cell now virus infect this host cell so let's say let's say this is a virus and the virus infects the host cell let's say let's draw the virus like this so it's a viral pro particle like that so it infect the cell after infecting the cell it 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 produces many more viruses many rounds of viruses it produces from one copy by the lytic cycle and all these different procedures then it it will break this cell open so ultimate fate of this cell is simply a, uh, is killing how let's say it will break this cell open and then what we get is something like that cell is now open everything is coming out and especially the viral particles are coming out so this is one way of looking at the response by virus simply killing right so it, it is simply by lysis of the host cell okay now the second important thing that we can see about the viruses the cellular effect that we can see for the viruses is so let me write this is the second one and it is uh, the transformation transformation and transformation of a normal cell into a malignant cell that's the that's the actual case so so let's say let's say this is the normal cell that we're talking about this is a normal cell having normal functionality inside uh, the cell and let's say this is the nucleus so let me draw the nucleus let's say this is the nucleus the dark is the nucleus here now this cell is modified somewhat and due to this modification what we can see now the cell is now becoming giant and several rounds of modification why because let's say if this is the nucleus and if i zoom into a particular chromosome let's say here this is the this is a particular uh, chromosome now somewhere here in this nucleus that chromosomal region of the host cell is modified and virus after entering inside this cell so let me draw the virus here so again the virus here let's let us draw it with this red colored thing so let's say let's say this 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 round thing is a virus here. It enters into the cell. Now this virus is also having its own uh, nuclear nucleic acid material. Now it injects this material here. After injecting its own material, denoted here with this red color, it will incorporate itself somewhere there in the host cell genome. So here we can say this as a incorporation, or we can say genome incorporation. Right now, due to this genome in incorporation, but we can see the production of a hybrid kind of situation. So we are having host gene somewhere there. Uh, this viral gene is inserted. So simply, it's also we can write it as insertion. Right? Simply by insertion, we can write it like that. Okay. So insertion. Due to this kind of insertion, this normal cell is now turned into a cancerous cell. So now, previously it was a normal cell. But now it is a cancerous, cancerous cell or a malignant type of cell because now it will start growing rapidly. Rapid growth will be observed. Rapid growth will be seen. So that's the kind of effect the virus can provide. Now remember this kind of effect is dangerous because this type of effect that we have just talked about, these are irreversible, irreversible in nature. Irreversible in nature okay so that's the very dangerous part of that 
Okay. Now the third important part about the viruses and third cytocellular uh, effect that the viruses can provide us is simply uh, it results in the host cell fusion. So let's let's write it. The third kind is host cell host cell fusion. So host cell fusion, when you are talking about host cell fusion, that means let's say a lot of host cells are there. So let us draw the host cells. So this is the one of the host cells. This is another host cell. So two host cells are placed there with their own nucleus. So let's draw the nucleus. This is the nucleus for this cell. And say this is the nucleus for this cell. And all this thing is provided. Now due to the infectivity of the virus, due to the viral infection. So let's, let's de uh, draw the virus. Here. Again, the virus means red particles. So virus entered into both the cells like that due to the entrance of the virus from outside so both these cases virus enters from outside as a result of that it will make these two cells to be fused with each other so they will fuse with each other and what we get here is a pretty large type of cell like that pretty large cell like that now this cell will have multiple nucleus because let's say here uh, one of the nucleus will be from this cell so you can have this green nucleus also it is having this blue nucleus everything will be there and obviously viral particles will also reside somewhere there in this cell right so what it produces is this uh, multinuclear cell or heteronuclear cell right and these cells are literally literally they are giant they are a kind of giant multinuclear multinuclear cells they are becoming giant multinuclear cells due to the infectivity of the viruses. Okay, so this is the third kind of response that we can see for the viruses. And the fourth kind of effect that we can see is again cytopathic effects. Now what are cytopathic effects? Cytopathic effect, uh, in all this case, like this lysis of the cell uh, from this host cell fusion, all these things, all of the modifications that we can observe or visualize are the part of cytopathic effect due to the infectivity of a virus. Now whenever uh, there is a cell is infected by the virus and any kind of effect that can be visible will be under the cytopathic effects. Okay, so if I talk about the cytopathic effects here, so let, let me write it here. The fourth part is cytopathic, cytopathic effect. Okay. So in the cytopathic effect, what, what kind of effect we can see? Uh, simply, sometimes the cell rounding. So let's say if this is the cell. If this is the cell, it is not exactly round cell. So let's draw the nucleus of it. Here it is the nucleus. It's not uh, actually round off. Now the cell will eventually become round or spherical shaped like that. Now this kind of effect is a result of cytopathic effect. So you can actually visualize it under a microscope that the cell morphology or cell structure is getting changed or altered. Right? So it is also called cell rounding. So let me write it here. Cell rounding is a kind of cytopathic effect. And also, uh, this is one kind of cytopathic effect. Another kind of cytopathic effect we can see is uh, simply uh, cell disintegration. So we can see simple, uh, similarly in this case also, if this is a normal cell like that, and it's having its own nucleus and all these things. Now cell disintegration will lead to the deletion of all these things. So something like that. So it, it will be disintegrated and cell will actually die after some time. So this is disintegration. This is also a part of cytopathic effect. So it is, let me write, disintegration is a type of cytopathic effect. And there are also other type of cytopathic effect that change in nucleus shape and size. Obviously, sustainability of these particles and obviously sustainability of the viral particles because whenever all these things will occur only if a viral particle enters, right? Otherwise, this will not possible. So again, these red things are viruses. Remember, so whenever viruses affect this host cell it will go through the cell rounding disintegration and all these things and also another uh, part which is called stainable viral particles in in those conditions if we stain our host cells what we can find that if these are the host cells we will find that inside the host cell we will have our own nucleus uh, host cell nucleus that's fine but you also find some uh, some different particles which are called the viral particles so if we stain if we stain it so staining will reveal the viral particles also. It will reveal the viral components. Right? So these are the important part of the cytopathic effect that we have discussed. This is the third kind.
So these things are very common in cytopathic effects. Okay, so that's the cellular mode of uh, viral response and I hope that's helpful. Thank you.